Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today as per my topic, we're going to talk about the differences between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. First of all, Abu Dhabi has everything that Dubai has. It's just that I've noticed that there is a slight difference between these two cities. I've worked in Dubai for some few years and currently I work in Abu Dhabi. So I just noted down some few things that I feel like, you know, there is, you know, something slightly different between these two cities. So let's get started. Before I even start this video, Dubai is not a country. Dubai is the city within the UAE. So Abu Dhabi is the capital city of the United Arab Emirates, followed by Dubai. There's some other cities like Fujairah, Alain, Sharjah, Al Mukwein. So most of people confuse Dubai as the country. For example, whenever I go home, people uh, and I tell people I work in Dubai, they will be like, "Hi, how is Dubai?" You know. But when I tell people I work in Abu Dhabi or the United Arab Emirates, they'll be like, "Hmm, where is that?" You know. So Abu Dhabi uh, or the United Arab Emirates is not famous as per name. Dubai is very famous, of course, because it's the tourist destination. So yeah. Let's talk about accommodations. First of all, I'm talking about those people who pay rent monthly, not those people who pay in installments yearly. So these are for hustlers like me. So accommodations in Abu Dhabi, I think they are a little bit cheaper and spacious compared to Dubai. The reason why I'm saying this is that the other day I was in Dubai, you know, I checked around five rooms. I was like, you know, they compared the rooms that I checked and my room. My room is more, more spacious. And in Dubai, the room actually was like 300, 400 dirhams higher than what I'm paying. You know, if you have not checked the, my room for a video, please go check it out. I will put the link below. Let me know what you think because if I compare this room and the room that I checked, it's totally tiny. Like the rooms, you can actually uh, accommodate only the bed and the cabinet, nothing else, you know. And you cannot even breathe, like it's so, 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 so tiny. The other room that I checked was actually almost the same size as my room. And the price was way, way higher that it needed actually like two people to be able to share the rent, you know, to be able to pay the rent because one person cannot be able to pay that amount of money monthly. So that's why I feel like, you know, we are very lucky in Abu Dhabi a little bit because the rooms are really spacious. Most of the places that I've gone here in Abu Dhabi, the rooms are very, very spacious. And actually, they are a little bit, you know, cheaper. They're not cheap, cheap, cheap. Don't get me wrong. I understand the accommodations here in the UAE are very, very expensive everywhere. But if I compare what I saw in Dubai and where I stay currently, it's really uh, better here in Abu Dhabi. Let me know, what is your opinion? Have you lived in Dubai and Abu Dhabi and, you know, you have an idea on how the rooms or the spaces partitions look like, let me know. Another thing that I've noticed there is a little bit difference between Dubai and Abu Dhabi is public transport. For example, here in Abu Dhabi, you pay two dirhams and you can go around the city, within the city, or three dirhams outside the city. And here we don't have a metro like Dubai. Uh, we have taxis. Taxis are available everywhere. You just if I want to go anywhere, I just go outside and I get a taxi. In Dubai, whenever I take a metro, by the time I reach my destination, the money is gone that I need to reload again the card. Like maybe monthly subscriptions are better compared to, you know, weekly or daily. I don't know about that. But whenever I load my bus card or metro card, the money finishes so, so quickly. And it's not easy to get a taxi. I remember getting out of the metro and looking for a taxi. I am in this other side of the road and I have to go to the other side of the road to be able to get a taxi. That was really very far because it was very hot and I was not able to get a taxi just outside the metro station. You know, I feel like Abu Dhabi is very easy to maneuver and very easy to move around compared to Dubai. I don't know, is it because I'm used to Abu Dhabi more or that is how Dubai is? It's been a while since I'm in Dubai, like, you know, staying there. But whenever I go to Dubai, I feel like, you know, I, I feel frustrated, you know, because I get out of the metro, I need to take taxi immediately to go somewhere, but I have to stand there waiting and waiting in the sun for the taxi to come. 
but in Abu Dhabi, I just get out of my house, I go outside here, get a taxi, and I'm gone, you know. So that is another thing that I feel like there is, you know, slight difference between, you know, public transport in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Let's talk about food. Yes. Food is actually almost similar. I will give 50-50 on this because in Abu Dhabi, you can get food anywhere. If you have five dirhams, you will not go hungry. You will eat something. The same thing with Dubai, I feel like, you know, whenever you just turn, there is a restaurant, turn, there is a restaurant, two steps ahead, there is a restaurant in Dubai. So everywhere there is restaurants. So you can never go hungry. If you have five dirhams, ten dirhams, ten dirhams, you can always eat something in Dubai. So I feel like food-wise, we are almost the same. Let's talk about safety. Safety, I feel like, you know, both cities, they have, you know, good security. Like, for example, if you walk around in the night, you don't have to feel insecure, first of all, because this country is very, very uh, peaceful, very, very secure. So security-wise, I'll give also 50-50. But, but this is my opinion. I am very, very safe. I feel 100% safe in Abu Dhabi compared to Dubai. I really don't know. I feel like Dubai is no more congested. Like, for example, for the accommodations that I went, you find that in the apartment there are many, many people that you cannot even leave your room open and go outside to the shops or something. But in Abu Dhabi, I can leave my room, go to work, and come back the, and find my room the way it is. I don't have to close. I don't have to worry. If I forget the keys, I don't have to worry because, you know, it's not congested. So that is slightly, uh, you know, something that I noticed uh, between the two cities. So, but generally, security-wise, 50-50. Let's talk about weather. Currently, it's very, very hot. It's summertime in the UAE. I can't even imagine how outside it is. It's very, very hot. In the night, the humidity is very, very high, you know. So between the two cities, I feel like whenever I go to Dubai, it's getting hotter. I don't know. The Abu Dhabi is still hot, but I think Dubai is hotter than, you know, Abu Dhabi. I don't know. But let me know what is your opinion. But, you know, generally the weather in the UAE is very, very hot during summer. Even if Abu Dhabi is 40 degrees, Abu Dhabi, even if Abu Dhabi is 40 degrees and Dubai is 50 degrees, it's still the same. You will still feel the same thing, you know. So I would say, you know, it's 40, 40 60. I'll give Abu Dhabi 40%, 60% Dubai, you know. Like, so weather-wise, I feel like it's hot. It's hot, it's hot. Yeah, lifestyle. So for this one, I would say I've realized or I've noticed Dubai is more like, you know, yes, yes. Yeah, that kind of stuff. stuff. While well, Abu Dhabi is like, you know, let's chill, have a coffee, talk, relax, no, no drama, no noise, you know, relaxing and chilling. So that kind of stuff. So Abu Dhabi is more conservative and more traditional compared to Dubai. So Dubai, especially for example, in the night, let's talk about night life in Dubai. In Dubai, it's like, you know, everywhere is busy. In the night, during the day, it's always busy. Come to Abu Dhabi, it's totally different. You go out at one o'clock, two o'clock, it's totally quiet. You, you barely see people, only one, two, three people walking around, you know, and this is different uh, from Dubai. So I would say social life in Dubai is better compared to Abu Dhabi. If you're the kind of a person who likes, you know, clubbing, going out, you know, that kind of stuff, Dubai is your place. But if you're that kind of a person who likes chilling, relaxing, you know, quiet place, Abu Dhabi is your place. There is something I forgot to mention about Dubai. Dubai is very, very congested. If you want to know, Dubai has a lot of people. Go there during weekend. Go there during holidays. Any holiday, like for example, the Eid holiday that just finished. Go to Dubai, boy. You will not even move like it's so, so packed everywhere it's inside the mall, especially now during summer. It's very hot and most of the people want to go out. And there is, another, there is no other place they will go. Of course, it's go, they, they will be going to the mall. I was in the mall of Emirates 
plastic but one it was stuck i even tried to take a photo i could not take a photo because every photo someone would appear inside you know uh, would appear you know so it was very very busy it was packed that's why you know abu dhabi you can move you can relax you can even get a seat in the restaurant but in dubai you cannot get a seat in a food court you have to stand as you wait for the other person to finish eating and then you sit down so it's just better to just go home or to just walk around without eating you know so that's the difference between dubai and abu dhabi because man so if you're looking for a job and you are the kind of a person who likes clubbing you know going out sport activities that kind of lifestyle dubai is your home so if you're the kind of a person who likes to chill no noise relax you know you just want to go to work home work home or, you know you go out and come back home no congestion abu dhabi is your place otherwise both cities whatever is in dubai is available in abu dhabi both cities have everything and also both cities are tourist destinations like for example there are many places to visit in abu dhabi and there are many places to visit in dubai that, that is uh, just my general opinion about the two cities because i've stayed in both cities i love both cities but you know what abu dhabi is home yeah otherwise thank you so much that is the end of this video thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos please guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment like let me know what you think if you are here in abu dhabi or dubai or you lived here before or you lived in dubai please let me know what is your opinion between these two cities you know because maybe what i'm saying is not what you are not, what you are saying because the country is very big so maybe there are some other places that are very cheap when it comes to accommodations when it comes to transportation when it comes to you know food and everything let me know in the comments below Otherwise, take care of yourself and hope to see you in the next one.